Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. Today I'll show you how to design an FAQ section with the accordion element in GemPages. The FAQ section enhances customer experience, builds trust, and can even improve search engine visibility by neatly organizing and presenting essential information. With GemPages accordion element, you can effortlessly create and customize a sleek and professional FAQ section. Let's dive in. Begin by adding a row element to your desired location. For this section, ensure it's set to full width across all screen sizes. For a row, disable full width to center align the content within it. This step is vital to ensure your page remains responsive. Next, drag and drop the heading element and customize it with bold font. And center align it. Add a text block for the subheading. Insert your content and center align it. To create a bit of space between the subheading and the accordions, go to the Advanced tab of the text block and increase the margin value. Moving on, drag and drop the accordion element, then make adjustments if you'd like. Now, let's delve into the general settings. You can select either a chevron icon or plus for expanding and collapsing the accordion. For this tutorial, I'll go with the plus icon. You also have the flexibility to position it on either the left side or right side. Furthermore, there is a default item that enables you to set one of your accordion items to be initially open by default. Remember that only one accordion can be expanded at a time unless you select Allow Open Multiple, which lets multiple accordions expand simultaneously. Moving on to the state settings, we have Normal, Hover, and Active. Hover is when you move your mouse over the accordion without clicking. The appearance of the accordion changes based on the settings we choose here. Active kicks in when you actually click on the accordion. The key is to make sure that the settings for all three states match up. If the normal state is set to zero, you won't see anything in the hover and active states. Here, you've got lots of customization options, including text color, icon color, background color, border, and corner. Borders can be dotted or solid, and you can put them on the right, left, top, or bottom. The size settings allows you to finely adjust the spacing for titles, content, you can go large, medium, or small, or just put in your exact value for that pixel perfect look. And the gaps between accordion items. Let's see it in action. Check out my FAQ interface. Notice how a line appears under each question when you click to reveal an answer? You can easily achieve the same effect using the size settings. I'll choose Accordion 1 and set the space between the content and title to zero. Then I'll add a row, customize the background, and put a text block inside the accordion. To ensure everything lines up nicely, I'll increase the spacing on the left side of the title to 24 pixels. I'll do the same for both the left and right margins to keep the question and answer in line. Next, I'll set the header border values across all states to zero, so the line disappears when only questions are shown. For the text block, I'll adjust the border and position it at the top. Voila! You'll see the line appear when I expand an answer. You can also tweak the spacing between the answer and question for a more visible appealing result. Apply the settings from Accordion 1 to maintain consistency across all accordions. To do that, I'll target Accordion 1, toss out Accordions 2 and 3, and basically duplicate Accordion 1. Lastly, I'll insert the content and publish it.
done and done. Now that you have mastered the basic steps for creating an FAQ section with Accordion in the Gym Pages Editor, it's time you get creative. Experiment with different design elements, content arrangements, and visual enhancements to make your FAQ section informative and align seamlessly with your brand's aesthetics and communication style. This is the end of the video in the Gem Pages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.